Hello, welcome. We're going to solve this problem together. I couldn't fit it on the screen, uh, but feel free to pause it when you need to. All right, so let's read it. Betty did a study this past spring using data she collected from a cafeteria, and she recorded data weekly for ice cream sales and soda sales. So we have the relationship between ice cream sold and soda sold. So here we essentially have an equation uh, for an overdose of sugar. Great. Beverly found the line of best fit and the correlation coefficient. It's 0.96, really close to 1. That means our data is really close to the line here. And they want to know, what does this mean, right? What does this graph tell us? Um, so let's go through the choices. Eating more ice cream causes a person to become thirsty. Well, that's a little bit ridiculous, right? And we know that. But the idea is that the word causes is ridiculous. If there's a correlation, a connection between your data, it doesn't mean one causes the other. Um, the same thing is uh, here in choice two, drinking more soda causes a person to become hungry. There's a correlation between them, but certainly not one that causes the other. And that's what choice three says is the only reasonable option, that there is a strong correlation, close to one or negative one if it was like a negative slope. Somehow if more ice cream led to less soda sold, because maybe you've had too much sugar with the ice cream, that might make sense too. And it might be causal, but we don't know that, so we don't assume it. We just know there's a correlation or a connection here. All right, hope this helped.